Hey guys, what is up? This is AVJ going to, going to be casting a Platinum League play. And this game is going to be Redoroin against... Oh, let Splatterman in uh, Lost Temple. So, um, right off the bat, we see Splatterman lifting off his command center and probably going... Yes, he is going in the island expansion. So, we are going... Um, I am predicting that Spider-Man is going to be going with a heavy air unit composition, you know, with Banshees and uh, Vikings and stuff, and, or even Battlecruisers for such. And he does have this one SCV here who um, he's just using to scout. And Red Roin still uh, doesn't know that his opponent is lifting up there, so he is probably going to scout everywhere is not gonna find him until he has air units. So we are going to see Red Roin uh, going to be doing the very normal Terran thing is just to wall off this um, choke point right here in Lost Temple. Most Terran players would like to wall off here because they do want to get this very early expansion here. And um, yes there goes the barracks and another Supply depot here just to finish that wall off and we do see uh, Red Roin going to be scouting here This is originally where Splatterman got um, was spawning, but hey, what do we know? He's changed to here and Splatterman is going um Splatterman is going to be a little bit behind on the worker count. Let's look at the production. Yes uh, Let's look at the units. Yes, he is a little bit behind because he did fly off that command center command center in a considerable, consider, not a considerable, but in a um, very long amount of time. I'm just going to go back to the production. And we do see um, some, a little harassment going um, for Splatterman, just going to be killing that SCV. And we do see uh, two gas here for Right or I'm probably going with a, a Marauder play if he does go with the tech lab. Uh, let's just see what he does. And we do see Splatterman th throwing down his very first bear. So, right off the bat, people will want to um, use this strategy. I do not recommend using this strategy because you are going to be a lot behind on building because look at this um Spider-Man is throwing down his first barracks and one depot while red Roin does have a barracks and a factory and two depots and he does have that um orbital command and two uh refineries and we do see red Roin just gonna be wondering where the hell is my opponent oh my god where are you i can't see you and these two SCVs are going to be fighting for this Zelnaga tower. And yes, there is a tech lap going down for Redoroin. And he is... what is he doing? He's not going to be building Marauders or even Reapers. So, Starport going to go. Yes, Starport is going to go down here. He's probably going to swap his barracks with a starport and probably gonna go with banshees or vikings he probably spotted this by now i'm just gonna go with red roin cam no he has not spotted it by now so he should be looking at the island expos just to make sure where his opponent is and there goes the hot swap and he is gonna be landing his um barracks over here so he is probably going to lift up a starport and put it here where the reactor is and he is probably going to lift up this factory and going to be landing in this tech lab and we do see a tech lab going to go down oh i do not recommend this by the way Terran players if you do have if you have a tech lab attachment laying around like that i do recommend that you lift up your starport or factory or barracks and just put it there so that you don't waste 50 50 money 50 25 actually sorry 50 25 money so 
And we do see a uh, Spider-Man gonna build a uh, engineering base, so he is probably gonna contain himself in this very island. I'm gonna be building a ton of um, anti-air, so this is actually a very good, um, not a very good, but this is actually a good strategy if you do want to contain yourself inside that island. Just build a bunch of like turrets and like hope for the best of what he does, because necessarily all um, Terran players will just fly because they do not have blink or they don't have night of uh, if you are a gun if you are up against a Poros I do not recommend you doing this because they do have blink they do have war prism they do have that pylon and you do see red Orion going to be harassing with that very first banshee and that third is gonna be done and is that banshee gonna take out yes that banshee is gonna be taken out and not a very good move by Red Roin and Spider-Man says welcome and Red Roin says hi. Mule gonna go down for Red Roin. Always, always a good idea to be getting that mule. And we do see some Hellions, a lot of Hellions for Red Roin now there. And not a lot for Spider-Man. He's just containing himself inside this very island with those uh, missile turrets. He is gonna fly this barracks. Oh no, he's not. And he is not producing anything. He is, he, uh, Spider-Man is not producing anything for his unit production. Yeah, this factory is not producing siege tanks or helios or even cores and. Um, Mule gonna go down. He, he does have one Viking, which is awesome, just to fend off those Banshees and Medivacs. There goes the drop. Here goes the drop with four, six, seven. Sorry about that, guys. Seven Hellions gonna drop down here, and those uh, Medivacs. Ah, uh, one Medivac gonna go down, and all those Hellions are gonna make a difference because. Right now, Spider-Man does not have any ground yet, but here it goes. Here it goes. All those SCVs are gonna take down, and... He, oh my god, these Hellions have a lot of kills. Uh, six. Uh, all those Hellions have a lot of kills, and all the SCVs are gonna go down for Spider-Man. What is Spider-Man going to do? He is gonna drop down his uh, Viking. Just one Viking. What about the other Viking? Oh my god. That Viking is gonna be taken out. And that other Viking is still flying over there. And we do see some more. Uh, a, a Banshee gonna go out for Spider-Man. And uh, nothing. And we do see a Banshee here now. Uh, two Banshees actually just to get wipe out all those Italians. And here comes... A mule down for Splatter Man. Red Ryan still in desperate need of attacking. Is now producing a ton of Vikings. He does have an armory just to get those upgrades now. And very much um I mostly see oh there it goes. Here comes the fusion core. I was gonna say I mostly see Terran players go with Fusion Core if their opponent decides to go to a very isolated island and just be stuck there. This is what I like to call uh, Red Alert 2 Yuri's Revenge style because you remember when you, um, you, in Yuri's Revenge when Yuri's um, base is surrounded with all those Gatling cannons and this is what you initially do if you want to contain yourself. So. Anyways, um, Red Roy is going to be expanding here. I I would have liked him to expand much earlier because Spider Man does not have any ground units. And we do see Spider Man going to be expanding here in the gold expansion. Um, he is not gonna kill that destructible rock with one SCV. So he is gonna probably leave it there and probably gonna long distant mine this minerals. I think um, when you distant mine a Vespin geyser that long, it probably will take you 
five to six SCVs just to get a constant flow of Vespine, ga of Vespine gas. And we do see the fusion core now out for Redoroid and SCV transfer is going to go down exactly, no not exactly, 14, 17, 9, 1500 and there we go, exactly 2 mules going to go down. Uh, I still don't see any um, battle cruisers. He does need 200 more minerals just to produce one battle cruiser and Spider-Man going to be producing a ton of years there. He does have, let me go to Union County Station, he does have four Banshees and four Vikings. While Redoroin does have four, uh, four Hellions, three Medivacs, one Thor, and four Vikings, so he is going to airlift that Thor out. I do love how they left up a Thor, you know, how Thor, like, turns into a transformer so anyways those vikings are gonna escort that medevac but i think the missile turrets are gonna make short work of those medevacs but uh he needs to drop it now he does drop it and those um thors are gonna make short work of those banshees if that thor survives no that thor doesn't survive and here comes the hell is gonna be um no don't attack it um those hellions need to be going straight to the mineral line and attacking all those scvs um, initially, because um, Hellions don't do a lot of damage against buildings, I do want to quote that. I'm not just quoting it, I am saying it. They do not do a ton of damage against buildings. If if you have blue flames, and they do a little bit of damage, but not that much. So initially, what you want your Hellions to do is just go in here and just harass all those SCVs. And kill them off and we do see Splatterman does have an expa another island expansion here so Red Droid is gonna have a hard time looking for all these expansions he did transfer uh, his um, base here to here because it that it will take a longer time for you to mine from these gold expansions And we do see Red Roy and still not um, saturating all of these mineral fields enough. And um, what's weird about it is um, here comes the battle cruiser. Battle cruiser. There it goes. The battle cruiser. Don't you just love how they model the battle cruiser, man? That's just sweet. 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 And nothing very much interesting going on. Uh, let's go back to the production tab. Um, Redoroid is building another starport, SCVs, um, battle cruiser, another battle cruiser actually, and a weapon re refit, which this will allow um, Yamato cannons, Yamato guns, whatever. And let's go to Spider-Man, is gonna make another starport, and SCVs, Banshees, and Viking, so he does have. Let's go to the unit cannon station. Uh, Splatterman does have four Banshees and seven Vikings, while Redoroin does have two Thors, two Vikings, and one battle cruiser. Now, that battle cruiser will make a difference if it does have upgrades. Does it have upgrades? No, it does not have upgrades. So. 